Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this another brand new day. Definitely a brand new day. Thumbs up for that. Real quickly, the Shelton, Washington weather, plague, rat, and spider report. The weather, uh, it, I can't really tell right now. I haven't been outside. My housemates came back yesterday from their camping trip, so I'm not watering the lawn. That's now their job. So hopefully uh, everything will live. But from the diffuse light outside, could be gray, that's fine, it, it happens, I mean, the, it burns off quickly, and by noon, it's like sunny, so, I'm going to have to take a walk today, in fact, I'm going to have to make a walk to Walmart as soon as I get this uh, recorded, rendered, and uploaded, and made sure it's, it's gone public, fine. I need to finally, oh, it's been so hot, and I've been so busy and falling asleep, I have to walk the damaged keyboard because of the new keyboard that I have so that Russian timing doesn't get hit with a $90 late fee so I need to walk at the six miles round trip three miles there three miles back up to the Walmart area to drop off the keyboard at the UPS store so that it can be dropped off and, and get there in time and that'll be good and it'll be a six mile walk and I'm gonna have to take a lot of pre-rolls with me Hokey smokes because my nerves are going to be inflamed and oh boy, I might even have to take a nap when I get back because of that. Because if my nerves are the way that my nerves usually are after that much, I'm <laughs> I'm not going to be able to sit in my chair. So thumbs up. Hey, it happens. <laughs> uh, and of course, on the plague rat report, uh, as I went walkies last night, of course, I had to go to Safeway because, of course, you know, I've no vehicle, so I can only pick up so much stuff at a time. And most people were fine. It was late. It was like after 9 o'clock when I finally went walkies because it was so hot. So thumbs up for that. Not many people out and about. I didn't see many people on the street. Those people that I did generally weren't wearing masks. It took me forever to put mine on because I was smoking pre-rolls. But then I put it on as I was walking when I was done. And then I got into Walmart. Walmart. Safeway. Did my stuff and then walked on back. So thumbs up for that definitely. As for the spider report, I really do need to check on the spiders outside in the hall that are up there because they're the ones with the egg sac and I, I don't know still if I want to have a, a whole bunch of baby spiders up there in the corner. Uh, so we shall see what happens that way. Past that, I, there's spider down in the basement. Basement? Good lord, I cannot speak English today. Spider down in the bathroom this morning was at least, well it was there last night i can't remember from this morning i forgot to check but still there are spiders lots of spiders outside as i was watering the lawn you know the past couple days i was also watering the spiders <laughs> so you gotta do what you gotta do thumbs up for that now of course the hamster report oh my gosh yesterday i was t first talking about gojira how she's been slowing down in her twilight and then yesterday, hokey smokes, I was suddenly under, I, I was afraid she was not going to even last a day. She was cold. Her whole body was cold. And she was just wobbly when she walked. And so I was holding her in my hand and just warming her up for a long time just to do what I could. And then when she was like getting warm enough, she just didn't want to be in a puddle in my hand being warmed up and was moving I took out the little because I had to keep her from chewing on various parts of the bin cage she's in I have various other like tiny containers that are in there so she doesn't chew so I lifted out that turned on my space heater which was fun and then set the, the cage with her in it not cage the little plastic thing on top of that it was only set at like 65 or 70 so that it would warm her up oh. so i kept an eye on her all day yesterday i was giving her little treats you know so she got peanuts and stuff like that but she was she started doing better toward the end of the day and she breathes fast and breathes hard. She was breathing fast and hard all day yesterday and she clicks sometimes when she's breathing. So I don't know. 
she could have a respiratory thing because I can hear her right now. She's breathing. She's going click, 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 click. Is it just old age? <clears throat> Is it an underlying issue? I don't know. But she's doing better this morning. I mean, the, her sun is setting. It's a lot closer to 6 p.m. than I thought. You know, life is life. But she was running around more. And this morning, she was moving fairly quickly. No wobbliness. And she was eating and doing stuff and moving around. So, big scare. Big scare. I mean, it's going to happen. And Amelia, she's 17. So... Oy vey. But Dust Mop is still doing well. He is still super thin. I think he's older than I think because his undercoating, his underfur that grows out so long, is just getting kind of a uniform grayish color. No real other colors in it. And his back is, is kind of bony, especially over where his hips are. And when you can feel their vertebrae, ooh, you're starting to get in the end of the twilight times. And then, of course, little Dr. Snurf, he's still running around. I did not coconut oil him up last night. I only do that like every other night. And when I do that, his skin has become still supple, even after a night without being treated with coconut oil. You see, that's the bad part. They have natural skin oils that come out of their fur follicles and all that. And then it spreads around and it keeps their skin from drying out. When their fur goes away, like those large bald spots, their skin also gets dry and cracked because it's there's no more of those oils being produced there. And just imagine your skin like that, all dry and cracking. Ugh. So... Uh, but that's that's where that's going on that one let's see uh there is a, i don't have a whole lot of amazing stuff just little things to talk about one of them is an absolute sheer annoyance for whatever reason windows windows 10 keeps going through and adjusting the recording volume of my microphone without my telling it to so I have to check on a daily basis and I've gotten to the point now that I'm checking because yesterday, yesterday or the day before, it must have been the day before when I was recording a Paint the Town Red, it once again, I had to not only crank the volume of the main thing up all the way, I had to go into the volume equalizer, well, not the volume equalizer, the sound equalizer and crank the volume up that way just to be heard properly because once again, I had recorded my vlog and it was at 100% volume recording. Then I recorded my game and it was at 80 some odd percent recording volume. I didn't change it. I didn't tell it to change between those two times. Windows just did it on its own. So yeah, I gotta go through and check daily, which again, I did that this morning and a good thing because the volume was down in the 80s so i cranked it back up to full volume levels so i don't know why windows does that but yay <sighs> and of course i was talking with people about dreams in fact this was russian timing was talking about a dream where so i'm not going to give any details dreams are personal but there was he was just about to die in the dream when he woke up. Now, I've talked about death in dreams before because when I was in the United States Air Force in the 80s, I had to go temporary duty from where I was in Sembach, Germany to Bremerhaven, Germany. And I stayed on the air, not the air base, it was an army base. And I had a, they actually had a hotel, a really cheap, low quality hotel where you stayed if you were temporary duty and you had roommates and that was life but one night i was dreaming while i was there and in the dream i got shot in the head and it wasn't a oh you're going to get shot in the head no this was bang and the impact woke me up so that was rough <laughs> i mean i don't I, all i remember from the dream was bang and impact and wake up so, like I say, that was a shocker. 
The only other time that that has happened, and I've talked about this one before, but I wanted to talk about it in reference to Russian Timing's dream, was I had, like this was back in the 90s, a dream where for whatever reason, I and some others, we were trying to escape from some sort of complex, and it must have been an AI or some such, along with, you know, human people that worked with the, the thing. And we were trying to escape through dark halls and rooms that were locked and, you know, being sneaky and stealthy. But we were caught. We were caught. And we were all taken into this big room and strapped onto tables. And they started at one end of the group because there were lines on the tables, all of us there. I was, you know, about three quarters of the way down. And they were just starting here. And they were just dissecting us alive. Just, you know, it's punishment for having tried to escape. You're going to hurt before you die. And I remember in the dream going, gosh, you know, I wonder what's going to happen. Because I went up to semi-lucidity because we were trapped. We were trapped. And this was like, gosh, how, how am I going to get out of this one? What's going to happen? You know, because normally something happens to, to save us in dreams, right? And in the dream, I looked around. And I realized that there was no help. They had worked their way down through all of the people and were ready to start on me. And there was no help. There was no help escape there was no way to get out of this alive and that was that was rough i mean i woke up not soon after that <laughs> but that was a rough realization in the middle of the dream that no one's coming to save us we are all going to die here so that was that was an interesting dream so savor your dreams. God, I wish I could still remember them. Mid-marriage, I stopped being able to remember my dreams. Whether it is mental issues or the various medications that I've been on, because even now, because I have to tank up on THC, THC does not disrupt your REM sleep as much as alcohol. Alcohol just destroys your, your dream sequences and that's why you wake up almost more tired than when you went to bed. You do not get restful sleep if you go to sleep after drinking. THC does not interfere with your REM sleep as much. It still does. I only occasionally have vague memories of, oh, I dreamt last night. Whoa! And that's about all I ever get. Most of the time, it's just not even that. Just I fall asleep and I wake up. Sometimes it takes forever to fall asleep. This heat has been murder trying to fall asleep. Normally, I need something on me. These days, it's like there's not even a sheet. It's just the blowing of the fan directly on my body or I'm dying from the heat. So yay on that. But when I do fall asleep, I, I don't remember my dreams. I occasionally have a flash that says, oh, I dreamt last night. And that's good. Life is life. Real quick here. Also, um, let's see. I'm kind of caught between talking about ball mice or Antifa. Antifa, sorry. I always pronounce it wrong. It's Antifa, not Antifa. But I might as well go on this one because the whole Antifa thing irritates me with the constant right wing trying to push it as an organization because Antifa is not an organization. It is an ideological stance. It is simply anti-fascist. If you are anti-fascist, you are Antifa. It doesn't matter who you are or where you work. You can be profoundly Republican and conservative, and you can be working amidst other people, but if you say, you know, I don't like Nazis and fascists, you're Antifa, right there. You have joined the group. If you don't like fascists, you are Antifa. It is an ideological stance. It's not an organization. So, thumbs up on that. But real quick, I also wanted to mention, I was watching this thing about how ball mice work, and, uh, well, optical mice. 
and uh, they gave a really quick overview of the first mice and how they worked all the way up to the ball mice to the optical mice and how optical mice work and there's more stuff they're going to do on that but it's amazing i mean i hated ball mice i lived through that time when when there was no mice and then ball mice and then they went from ball mice to optical mice and thank god for that because good lord ball mice they just gum up so bad that i hated them they were hideous and I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. And I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comment right now. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. If I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended. And even though I count American Sign Language uh, with my depression, fibro, and more, I'm amazed that I can remember even what my own name is sometimes. We have Triton Watchell. I'm nowhere near the correct pronunciation, but thank you very much. And we have Tristan... Dystra? I'm nowhere close again, but thank you very much. Cheaper Shot, thumbs up and thank you. Confused Owl 29, I hope you can. Enjoy as you pick up. Bruh, yes, I do post a lot. Blitzkrieg Rough Foster, thumbs up and thank you. Fargrond, greatly appreciated. We have Kathy Kiscat, good to see you in the comments. And Hopeless Sunflower Seeds, I like the name. Thumbs up and thank you. We have Fergust. Thumbs up. Elderwolf569, good to see you in the comments. Queen Grumpy, thumbs up and thank you. Henry Giovanetto, thumbs up and good to see you. Beastly One, greatly appreciate. Colin Reisnauer, thumbs up. Stephen Blair, good thank you. Good thank you. Ah, hopefully you understood what I meant. My name has been taken. Sometimes they are, and thank you. We have David Marcus, greatly appreciated, and Sebastian Ferris. Good to see you in the comments. And then, of course, we have <laughs> Jack Shit, S-C-H-I-T-T, -T, which is actually a valid name. There are people that have that as a last name. Joyous. Christopher Thomas, thumbs up and thank you. We have Sebastian N.S., and then there is Soundmaster Blink, thumbs up and thank you. Aaron S, greatly appreciated. And last but not least, Mr. Sugar, thumbs up and thank you. Each and every one of you, you get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. It is appreciated. When you're depressed, you need, you need extra input in your echo chamber. Ooh, thank you very, very much. If you could check out my various links, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. If you wanted to help me out but you didn't want to send money to one of those two places, I have a PayPal link down below. And if you wanted to help me out without sending money, I have an Amazon wish list link as well. Thank you very much to anybody who does buy me something off that list. It is greatly appreciated. Now, do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive, positive validation I get for my existence. A definite thumbs up. And of course, if you could subscribe to the channel and <coughs> hit that bell. What the heck was that hand motion? Hit that bell. That would be very cool. Greatly appreciated. Definitely a thumbs up. So I've got this video. I've got another video to edit and render the second half of my micro Microsoft video. Good job. My Minecraft video, walk off to Walmart and back. So I'm going to be a busy little boy today. Thumbs up on that. Woof. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend. And that is a very good thing. Practice your social distancing. Wear a mask. Practice self-care. And we have to keep protesting. We have to keep up the pressure. Justice for everyone. These murderous, jack-booted, brown-shirted thugs keep killing. Take care and have a very, very good day.